G'day folks, welcome back to the channel and to the lovely village of Cadillac, Saskatchewan. I'm shooting this just a little bit after my uh, video in Neville. And as you can see, that's the same storm we were looking at in that video. It's a little weaker than it used to be. It's not severe warned anymore. At least it isn't in Saskatchewan. Not sure if it ever was, but it was down in Montana. Anyhow, we're going to take a look around Cadillac while it's still daylight and, uh, and you can still see stuff. And then hopefully either here or an admiral will be getting some after dark lightning too, but uh, it depends exactly what happens. I have to go where the storms are for that, so this might be the only time we see Cadillac. And there's the old grain ele elevator right there. Or this may not be the only time we see Cadillac. So, uh, let's get started. I'm down at the end of Main Street. There used to be several grain elevators over there. I've been wanting to shoot that grain elevator for years with lightning, and I'm hoping tonight is the night, so... Yeah, I'm excited. Either we'll get it here or we'll get it in Admiral, I hope. I'm expecting the storms tonight to follow a similar path as to uh, what this one is, so... Uh, yeah, that is close enough to shoot from here. It's not real close, but uh, that's actually kind of good if I want to fly the drone and get uh, lightning shots with the drone. I don't know if I'll be able to do that or not, but uh, we'll see. And then I'll, I'll give you the same kinds of drone shots we got from uh, Neville here too, but uh, I'm going to do that from the campground. And uh, reason being, the campground here is awesome and you guys have to see it. Anyway, let's get started. We'll start down at the end of Main Street with the Cadillac Tavern, which is still open, as you can see, and active. This town has about the same population as Neville does, maybe 10 or 20 people fewer, but since it's at the uh, crux of a major intersection, we're basically a little bit north of Valmarie here, where you come into Canada. That's... I'm tongue twisted. That's the first town you encounter when you come into Canada on Highway 4. This is the second one. And, uh... Yeah, there's a little bit more here for old buildings that are still intact. Most of Neville's has been torn down by now, but, uh... I'm glad to see so many buildings still here, even if I can't find a United Church here anymore. And if I'm lucky, maybe I'll encounter a, a local who will tell me that, because I've been wanting to shoot that church, and... I don't know if it got torn down or moved or what. Anyhow, we'll keep going here. Just take a little look at the town. I'll probably give you a distant shot of the school as well, but since the school is currently a household, residence. I don't want to get up close and personal with it. It used to be abandoned. It is no longer abandoned. It's somebody's house now. Okay, corner of Napier Street. Post office is down there. Another couple of businesses. Just residential down there. This is a very nice town. If we'd gotten here a week earlier, we would have seen all kinds of classic cars lined up up and down the street here. That's because the Accelerators Car Club put on a show here about a week ago. But I'm just a little bit too late for that. There's your fire hall over there. Photos by... what does that say? Dutchy? Cool, another photographer. Someone's coming up the street behind us. I shall wave, yes I shall. Ah, 
I don't think he saw me wave. That's all right. And yeah, I got a hunch that the United Church used to be on that corner back there where we were just at, but uh, I just don't know. And here's the museum. We'll go check out their hours for you. This is the old Lutheran church, I do believe. Viewing by appointment, just give those three numbers a call. Once again, I don't have time. I got three videos to shoot today and this is only the second one, or possibly the third one, depending on when the lightning is and where it is. Okay, now this street is the one the big old school is on. You can see it down there. Once again, somebody's house. And it's a big house now, I'll tell you what. But yeah, I'm not even sure I'll be anywhere around here for lightning. I'm actually kind of thinking about going towards Aneroid too tonight. Which is to the east of here. Because they have a really cool green elevator. This would be the Catholic Church here. Very nice church. Hope I'm getting it all in frame for you. Anyhow, that right there is the highway, Highway 13. Tons of ghost towns along that highway. So if you want to see a Saskatchewan ghost town, just go down Highway 13. You'll find some. I promise. This would be the community hall. As stated on the building. But yeah, I hope I get lightning here later. I don't know when else I would get lightning here. But if I do go out to Aneroid, which is another really cool town, I gotta say, possibly I could shoot that elevator with lightning then come back and shoot this one with lightning. But uh, I don't know. It's kind of a lot of driving. And I've already done a lot of driving. Anyhow, you've seen Main Street. So how about let's go down to the uh, really cool campground and I'll show you that. And then we'll put the drone in the air. Alright folks, before we get the drone in the air, I want to give you a look at this cool campground. And what really makes it cool is this is a free campground, abs ab as in absolutely no charge. Unless, of course, you need power, then you gotta pay. But uh, if you're here just doing regular camping stuff, no problem. You can stay where you want here for nothing. And honestly, that kind of tempts me a little bit. Because I do have a folding mattress in the back of the car. I don't have to drive home tonight. I'm only about an hour and a half from home or so, but uh, if I get too tired, then uh, easy peasy. And I'm just looking at this grain elevator here from the ground a little more. I've got you around my neck right now. 
We'll get the drone out in a second. Oh, this is going to be perfect. I'm telling you, it's going to be perfect. Look where the clouds are. Look where the elevator is. I bet I can even use my 85 millimeter cream machine here. Runner wide open for nice shallow depth of field, and I'll get a killer lightning shot here later if I can actually do it. Because that's the storm there from Montana. It's just going right by in the in the background there. This is perfect. But anyway, I want to get the drone in the air, so I'm going to go do that now. Okay, it's time for some droning. I'm just going over in the shade here so I can see the screen while I do this. Just waiting for the drone to acquire satellite signals. And we've got it. I'm shooting at ND32 on the uh, drone right now. Take off. There we go, that ought to, be, ought to be nice and high. All right, drone is now filming. Let's go over and see that green elevator, shall we? This time I am running one of the high capacity batteries. The grain elevator is still in use here. So don't get any crazy ideas if you're into urbex. And I'm going to stop right here and I'm going to go up and we're going to get a look at the town. Just like we did for uh, Neville. And Admiral, if you've already seen that video. That's it there. That's the entire town. We're at 98 meters altitude at the moment. And so, yeah, there you go. There's Cadillac. I'm going to spin around here. I'm going to go up and we're going to take another look at these storms. Looks pretty impressive. It might be ramping up a little. I don't know. It is st starting to be really, really muggy. And if we turn around here... Back in the direction we came from, in Neville, there's clouds building up there now, too. Yeah, there's one real big one right there. Turning into a nice cumulonimbus. Anyhow, yeah, that's the town, so, uh... If this is the only footage you see, I'll see you in the next video.